हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू ऑल अबाउट ग्राउंड इंप्रूवमेंट टेक्निक्स फॉर फाउंडेशन इन वीक सॉइल्स वॉट एपेंस एक्चुअली इज के समटाइम्स द सिचुएशन अराइज वेन वी इधर डू नॉट गेट एन ऑफ बियरिंग कैप्सिटी और वी गेट सेटलमेंट्स बियॉन्ड फॉर्मेसिबल सेफ लिमिट्स फॉर पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर टू बी बिल्ड ऑन दैट वेरी पर्टिकुलर साइड तो इन दैट वेरी केस वी नीड टू डू एंड अडोप्ट अ फ्यू ग्राउंड इम्प्रूवमेंट टेक्निक्स सो एज टू एनेबल अस टू कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट द बिल्डिंग आउट देयर और एनी अदर स्ट्रक्चर वेदर इट इज अट टैंक और एनी ब्रिज एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड सो तो इन बुअर एंड वीक सब सॉइस द डिजाइन ऑफ कन्वेंशनल फाउंडेशन फॉर स्ट्रक्चर मे क्वाइट ऑफ एन प्रेजेंट प्रॉब्लम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू बोथ साइज एंड टाइप ऑफ फाउंडेशन एज वेल एज control of foundation settlements a viable alternative in few situations is therefore to improve the subsoil to an extent such that the subsoil develops an adequate bearing capacity and foundations constructed after subsoil ground improvement have resultant settlements within acceptable permissible limits that is we have to improve the soil in such a way so that our bearing capacity requirements are met with and as well the permissible uh, the settlement produces within the safe permissible limits <laughs> this method technique is called ground improvement which is used to improve in situ soil characteristics by improving its engineering performance as per specific requirements of the project by altering its natural state instead of altering the design in response to the existing ground limitations so what actually is ground improvement ground improvement is the enhancement of the in place properties of the ground by controlled application of techniques situated to the subsoil conditions prevailing at that very particular site for which we need to go in for ground improvement now next what are the four major considerations for establishing need for ground improvement are number 1 based on subsoil data obtained at the site and the load requirements of the said structure foundation design is carried out as per bearing capacity considerations and settlement analysis ground improvement is required if the net loading intensity required for the foundation exceeds the allowable bearing pressure computed as per is 6403 the latest one point 2 ground treatment may also be required if even for relatively low loading intensities the resulting settlement computed in accordance with either is 8009 part 1 or is 8009 part 2 of the latest uh, reformed year exceeds the permissible acceptable limits for the structure both from the point of view of distortions induced in the structure or from operational angle now point 3 loose cohesionless deposits in seismic zones may be prone to liquefaction during earthquakes under high high water table conditions in such cases liquefaction potential analysis of the subsoil is done as per is 1893 part 1 latest year reaffirmed ground improvement is therefore called for if such analysis establishes that the subsoil is prone to liquefaction and now point 4 the stability of soil in slopes or otherwise also can be enhanced by use of soil reinforcement okay now next here are the four major ground improvement techniques which i would be discussing in a one liner and further in my upcoming lectures i would be discussing all these four in detail one by one in a single lecture say it will be followed up further by four more lectures and so on because there are some miscellaneous methods of ground improvement techniques also out there injection injection grouting that is it is the introduction of a chemical cementitious material into a soil mass by application of pressure <laughs> and the depth of ground improvement may vary as per the need of that very particular site pre loading applications of loads to achieve improvement of soil properties prior to imposition of structural loads soil densification a technique to densify cohesionless soils by imparting shocks or vibrations or any other useful technique soil reinforcement rods strips or geosynthetics may be metallic or fabric 
incorporated within soil mass to impart resistance to increase the tensile shear and compressive forces of that very particular soil. So dear friends, hope this introduction to ground improvement techniques must have opened a few important things in your mind. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.